Welcome to Health Coach for Women. Intentional living for more happiness and fulfillment in your everyday life with your host, Marsha Rupchand Walker. Join Marsha as she shares her own personal wellness journey, as well as stories from our guests that will enlighten and inspire you to move towards better health and happiness. Now, here's your host, Marsha Rupchand Walker. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Health Coach for Women. I am your host, Marsha. Um, before we get started, first go ahead, click that like button, share, and subscribe. Okay, so by the time you're viewing this, um, it is after the holidays, the Christmas holidays. So I hope you enjoyed your holidays to each and every one of you. I hope um, that everything has been good for you thus far. Uh, today, I do have a quote for you. All right. And it's a simple quote. All right. The new year stands before us like a chapter in a book waiting to be written by Melody Beattie. I like that. I like that. All right. So what is today's topic? You know what? This leads me to, to say this, and this is all in today's topic. You know, it's like writing a chapter in a, in a new book, right? Waiting to be written, right? Something like that is what her quote says. Um, but that's how we got to look at life, right? That's how we got to look at life as we are slowly approaching. It's coming near, right? The new year is coming. 2024 will be here in a matter of days, right? So what's on the gen? What is the plan, right? What is the plan, you know, what is, what is your, what are your goals? Do you have any goals? You know, if you do, what are they? Do you have a, a action plan? Do you have uh, steps that you're taking to see if you're going to make that happen? But in the midst of all of that, what are you doing in the present moment? Right. What are you doing in the present moment? Remember, we always want to make sure that we remain present because sometimes it's hard. Sometimes we can lose focus right? Sometimes we can lose focus and forget the present moment because it is the present moment right now. The here and now is what matters most, right? So it's okay to set goals for 2024. Oh yeah, sure. Definitely. Definitely. We want to do that, right? And so whatever your goal is, whether it is to lose 10, 20 pounds uh, in 2024, whether it's to write that book, whether it is to just have more family connections and bonds, um, whether it is uh, starting a new career or a new business venture, whatever it is, right? Let's remember to also be present in the process. Let's also remember gratitude, right? Let's also remember appreciation, being thankful for where we are right now, being present right? Where we are right now in this present moment, because it is in this present moment um, that you don't get it back. Right? We want to stay grounded, right? And that's the whether, whatever your faith or beliefs or what your anchor, whatever it is that anchors you and keeps you grounded, whatever that is for you, we need to stay anchored. We need to stay connected and tuned in, right? So we need to make sure that we do that and and, and, we, and so that we don't lose our way because we need that anchor. It helps us uh, and, and, and gives us uh, the support we need, right? To have that anchor, whatever that anchor is for you, right? For somebody else, you know, it may just be listening to or listening to music or watching funny videos on the phone. I don't know. But whatever your anchor is, you know, connect with that, connect with that and learning to also tapping in, right? Tapping in, tuning in to your own inner wisdom, tuning into your own inner wisdom. What do I mean by that? Tuning into your intuition, right? Trusting yourself, 
right? Trusting yourself, respecting yourself, honoring yourself, right? You may not have all the answers. Dag, even I don't have all the answers to everything. <laughs> I sure don't. We don't have all the answers. But as we continue to move forward into 2024, let's do that. Let's be mindful of tuning in, tuning into the inner wisdom, tuning in to the guidance, right? That you get, that intuition that you get. Let's pay attention to that. Paying attention to the senses in the body when something's off and doesn't feel right, right? And so we have all of our senses. And sometimes, you know how you can get a feeling, you know, that feeling of maybe you feel like someone is watching you and you turn around and someone's staring at you, you know? So we have that, that sixth sense, so to speak. We have that. Just you have to be able to tune in, right? And tune in. Let's honor ourselves. Let's um, enjoy the moment, right? Being happy with ourselves, searching within to find, because what you're looking for to give you that happiness, it's not on the outside. It's, it's not something you're going to find from someone else. Your spouse, your lover, your, your friend, your, your job is not going to give you what you are looking for. It may help right? Shopping, going shopping. It may help, right? But it, but it's not the answer to what you are looking for. It is not the true answer to which you seek. Know that the answer lies within you. And it is being able to love and honor yourself and respect yourself, right? And being okay with who you are and where you are at this present moment and knowing that it is simply okay. You're not feeling the best today. You're not feeling great 100% today. It is okay. We have those days, right? You're not feeling alive and vibrant. You don't have a lot of energy today and maybe you're just down. Maybe you're just feeling blah, right? It's okay. It's only today. It's only for a moment. It's only temporary, right? It's only temporary. So each day in life will be different, but it is being able to, and you've heard me say this before, it is being able to adapt, right? And weather the storm, so to speak. Weather the storm, right? Like the waves in the ocean, right? Each current wave is different some stronger than the last one. Some current waves are stronger than the last one, right? And some are calm. Some are, you know, some are more gentle. We got to be able to just adapt and, 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 and go through it. And so that's why having a support system is also important, right? Friends and loved ones who you, you care about and trust, that's important. Don't try to do it all alone right? Don't try to do it all alone. We want 2024 to be the year of when you are really taking a good look, taking a good look at where you are, being okay with that, because you're living with intention, you're living with gratitude, you're living with love, right? Love and purpose, even though you may not have the answer, and even, even though you may not know it yet, because we all have a purpose, right? We're living with eating healthier, right? Putting the right foods into our body, right? Eating better, doing better for ourselves and the planet and our neighbor, doing well for ourselves and others. That's what we want to do. Now, some of you may may think, you know, well, no, you know, why should I be concerned about this other person? And if you're, if you are that person, I don't know, you might be on the wrong channel. I don't know. 
Ladies, do you find yourself caught in the daily grind, juggling between the demands of your career and personal life? Do you dream of thriving both professionally and personally in 2024, but feel overwhelmed by the constant struggle? I understand the challenges you face, and that's why I'm thrilled to invite you to join the five-day Radiant Soul Challenge. Picture this, a life where you have the secrets to not only survive, but thrive in both your career and personal personal space. The Radiant Soul Challenge is designed for women just like you, ready to break free from the chains of stress and achieve optimal health. Here's why you should be a part of this exclusive experience. Learn the secrets to thrive both professionally and personally in 2024. Discover actionable insights that will propel you towards success in your career while maintaining a fulfilling personal life. Create more work-life balance for better optimal health. Uncover strategies to strike the perfect balance between your personal aspirations and your well-being, ensuring that you're at the top of your game without sacrificing your health. Implement proven strategies for stress management and productivity skills. Say goodbye to stress overload. Acquire practical techniques that boost your productivity and keep stress at bay, empowering you to excel in your career with ease. Don't miss this chance to embark on a soulful journey. Join the five-day Radiant Soul Challenge and redefine your path to success. Click the link below and secure your spot in the five-day Radiant Soul Challenge now. Your thriving future awaits. Hope to see you there. We wonder, now those who've been, you know, watching me and following me for a moment, you know, you already know who I am, of what I present myself and who, who, who I present myself to be here on camera. And this is me. You know, if it was up to me, totally up to me. Well, it is always, it's up to me, but I do want to look halfway decent on camera. For me, I, I wish I could, I could just record in a t-shirt, <laughs> a t-shirt and a cap or something, right? But I do try to make myself look pre presentable, right? Not flashy, fancy, eh, I'm so simple, right? You know this already. I'm so simple. Eh, right. But, and I say all of this to say what? Like, what's your point, Marsha? Get to the point. What's your point? So my point is, I say all of this to say that sometimes we do things that we need to do, right? Even if we don't want to do it. So we do the things that we need to do, even though we don't want to do it. And, and it's not compromising yourself, although in depending on the situation, it can be a compromise, right? And so one thing we never want to do is compromise our inter integrity and our character and morals and values. But when I say compromise, um, like if you're in a team project at work, right? Everyone is going to have different ideals and, and opinions, right? But we come to a compromise. We come to a solution that works best for the team as well as the organization, right? More importantly, the organization. What's best for the organization, right? What's, what's the ultimate goal, right? But it's a team effort. It's a collective. Okay, so that's my point. Um, but I want you to know as we are moving into 2024, we want to make this a, a fruitful year, a fruitful year of abundance in our health right? That's so important. Abundance in our health, abundance in our careers, abundance in our family life, right? Having that abundance, that uh, prosperity, right? Uh, in, in all areas of our lives, right? The holistic approach, that's the holistic approach, right? And that includes finances, right? And some people may not say, you know, finances may not be included in that. What well, doesn't doesn't finances make up uh, as part of someone's life, right? Their financial status, their financial situation, right? It, it impacts an individual, right? It can impact them in a positive way as well as in a negative way, right? We know this and we know that money is only a tool. It, it is only a tool, right? And it's meant to flow and to circulate. That's why it stimulates the economy. It's meant to flow. Okay. So we want to move into 2024 with the mindset of being able to, whatever it is that we wish to achieve, we can achieve it. Whatever it is that we wish to accomplish in life, 
we can, right? Whatever it is that we want to do and achieve and see in our life, manifest that it can happen, that it can happen. And, and for that to happen, for that to happen, you have to go through some serious mindset changes, some serious mindset shifts. Because the only thing from stopping you from accomplishing your goal and seeing it come to fruition is in here. It all ends up in here, all right? And so they say, if you can see it, you can achieve it. You can do it. You have to see it. You have to see it and believe it, right? See it and believe it as it is already done and it's there and things will begin to start and work for you and believing it, right? Believing it. Uh, this coming year, as we move into 2024, let's have an abundant mindset, right? With healing in our bodies, right? Healing, we deal with so much toxins everywhere, right? Not only in the household from chemical appliances and, and sprays and detergents and all of that stuff, but the air quality, right? The air quality itself, uh, we deal with so much toxins that we come across every day in our food. It's in the soil. It's it's everywhere. So we just do the best we can. We don't we don't have to go get overboard and become uh, uh, a fanatic, but we need to be mindful and let's let's do better. Let's just do better in what we put into our our bodies, what we put into our mouths, what we eat, when we eat, how much we eat, right? What we listen to, what we listen to, that's important. What we listen to, right? With the news, right? Negativity, gossip, right? Um, let's surround ourselves with more positive things, more uplifting things. And not only that, um, you know, I talked about, you know, what we're putting into our bodies, toxins, right? Uh, I talked about what we listen to, right? What we watch on TV, what we listen to, who we surround ourselves with. Start surrounding yourselves with people who you wish to be more like. Some qualities and attributes that you would like to have, you know, be around those people, those positive, good qualities and, and attributes, right? Right? Never change who you are. You only just become better, be better, right? So you be yourself, but you be the best version of yourself in a positive way, right? In a positive way, all right? And so that's what we need to do. We need to do that. We need to make sure that we are filling our cups, right? No empty cups, no half full cups, okay? No near to E cups, near E like your gas is on E. <laughs> so we need to be able to do that. And I can't stress it enough because, you know, you, you hear me talk about, you know, stress and work, work environment, stress, what it can do to the body, it's chronic stress, um, and causing illness and disease, um, all these things impact, impact our bodies, impact our mental health, right? We got to do better. And you always hear me talking about getting out in nature. And if it's too cold to get out in nature, you know, when the sunlight comes for me, I have to open my blinds. I have to open up my curtains when the light is out and it's daylight, the light, the sun is coming in. The light is coming in, okay? Because I can't stand to sit around in the darkness. I need that light coming in. Oh, especially in the summertime when that light is coming in. And in moments uh, in the day when the sun is shining, those blinds and curtains are open because that's what I like. I need the sunlight. And that's my way of getting my natural vitamin D, okay? Let's take care of ourselves, right? 
let's put ourselves first, right? And I'm not saying we're going to neglect our family, no, or or things of pri things that's of a priority, no. But we are a priority as well, so we have to take care of, of ourselves. We have to take care, make sure that we're okay, because when we're okay, mentally, physically, emotionally, right, uh, financially, I'll even add that in it spiritually. Uh, when we're okay man, we're like a superpower. You could, then you could say, boy, I, I can do anything and conquer anything. Right. And, and so when you're feeling your best and looking your best, boy, you can do so much for other people. You can help other people then. But when you're all weary, stressed, feeling lethargic, feeling tired, burnt out, foggy brain, what good are you to anyone? What good are you to anyone? So that's really what I wanted to talk to you about today. Really just as we move towards 2024, let's get our mind right, right? And so we know that the mind and the body is connected. Let's get ourselves connected. Let's get connected, okay? Let's get connected. Mind, body, and spirit. And whatever, again, back to your anchor, whatever your anchor is, right? Whatever your faith and your belief is, get anchored in, in that. And I do believe in prayer. I do believe that prayer works, right? I do believe that. But we also have to do the work as well for certain things to happen. We do have to do the work as well. And so on that note, I am going to wrap it up. And the next time we will see each other will be after the new year. So I do hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, safe, and prosperous new year. And I will see you next time. Bye for now. If you are struggling with health issues like chronic pain, being held back by past traumas, or feeling overwhelmed and hopeless, please know there is hope. There is help. Transcendence, A Woman's Guide to Healing and Self-Love for Better Health, Happiness, and Abundance is a blueprint to help you get your life back and reclaim your health. Within its pages, you'll learn how to elevate your existence by shifting your mindset toward the positive, focusing your energy on what's really important, using gratitude to feel deep appreciation, changing your gene expression through epigenetics, building resilience, and living in a state of flow. Feeling love overflow within. Go beyond an ordinary life. Transcend. Buy it now. Thank you so much for listening to Health Coach for Women with your host, Marsha Rupchan Walker. If you've enjoyed this podcast, please be sure to rate, subscribe, and review on your preferred podcast listening platform. We really appreciate that effort. Until next time.